Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk about the Logitech wireless keyboard and this one is model K400R. This, um, this keyboard takes two double A's, I'll show you the uh, two double A's and it has a little slot here to store the wireless dongle and the wireless dongle is one of those tiny ones and this is the unified dongles which means that it will work with other peripherals coming from Logitech. Now let me uh, let me show you some measurements here uh, this the keyboard space is at about uh, nine and a half inch a little over nine and three quarters of an inches and about 25 centimeters and the touchpad is seven and a half centimeters or almost three inches in length now what I like to, like about it is that it's very compact very easy to type it has a touch touchpad here it has these keyboards that are easy to click the keys themselves are okay I wouldn't type on these all day but for an HTPC type of uh, system, this is perfect. This is a really nice solution. Also, these top ones actually work. All right, so now that uh, we talked about what goes on on the keyboard layer, as you can see right here, let me, uh, let me demonstrate uh, how it works with the laptop. All right, so let me demonstrate how easily it can move the mouse it does a pretty good job also I wanted to mention that on the back there is a switch where you could turn the uh, keyboard on and off it has nice rubbery and grippy footings so this actually does not slide easily on on surfaces it will it will stay put which is nice these uh, buttons, for example, if I press the music button, it will go to the music, Xbox music, whatever uh, they assigned uh, for it. And uh, Home will uh, launch Internet Explorer, or in this case, Chrome, which is the default browser. This PC will lock the PC but uh, since uh, we don't have any password it's uh, not an issue this this button is basically a left click so if I click on Adobe Acrobat and I I want to click on it one click double click to launch and the reason they did that in case you're holding the uh, keyboard you can use this thumb to slide and then this top thumb to do a left click really easily. Now there is one big issue that I noticed with this and it took me a while to figure out how to fix it and the problem was that the settings for the keyboard and the mouse or the touchpad were not available in the set point software that um, you can install for this keyboard. Now after much research uh, and let me let me demonstrate what the problem is. If you go to mouse, and uh, click on the set point settings, it will launch the set point settings. And uh, when you first install this, my mouse and my keyboard do not show up. The only thing that shows up is the tools tab. And in order to fix that, you have to go to the uh, unifying software, go to advanced, select the keyboard, unpair it, and obviously at this point it's not going to work, so you're going you're gonna to use a different mouse to pair it again, and to do it, you, you would turn this thing on and off, it would automatically recognize it, but once it recognizes it, these two tabs will appear 
in the set point settings. But now we're going to have the settings for my mouse, my keyboards, and tools before we only add the tools. So let me show you the tools. This is the only thing that we had before, and now we have the keyboard where we can change the assignment for the three hotkeys, and which are the media player, the lock PC, and the sleep. The home button, I guess, will always launch the default browser. Also, if you go here to the function area, you can select what actions the select keys do, which are the following right here. You, so you can change what they do. Plus, you can also swap the F keys because by default, the actions come first and the F functions come second. You have to use the function key to do that. So if you wanted to close a window, Alt F4, you would have to do function Alt F4. But if you really wanted the Alt F4 to work, you can go ahead and swap the F key functions. In the mouse tab, you got the usual stuff with the pointer speed, the acceleration, enable smart move, enable pointer trails, and uh, the scrolling size with, uh, with uh, two fingers. All right, so hopefully this gave you an idea of um, how good this keyboard is and if, you, if this would work for your system. And I have to say, I, I'm, this is an excellent, excellent price point for such a great keyboard. I think it's the best value on the market right now. And just having the unified receiver working with other Logitech items is phenomenal. The keyboard itself, the keys are a little plasticky, but for an HTPC, I wouldn't type on this all day, by the way. This is one thing that I have to say. I wouldn't type on this, this all day, but definitely for like an H HTPC system, this is perfect. Really perfect. So I'm going to wrap up this video. If you have any questions, and I'm sure you have questions, because um, just getting this set point setting to work is a chore. I wish Logitech would fix this. That's about it. If you have any comments, please put it in the comment box. Please subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Till next time.